acknowledged your flaws. You have acknowledged the negativity that that you that you've seen around you. You've acknowledged the things that within you, the things that you want to change. So you're well on your way. So give yourself credit for the things that you are doing. Give yourself credit for the work that you have put in. It's going to take time to get to where you want to be. Whether that's financial or, you know, social or whatever aspect it is in your career, whatever it is. Any aspects of life, it takes work and it takes consistent work. It takes that will and that drive to be able to accomplish something great. You can't say that you're great today and then beat yourself up tomorrow and say, well, I'm not so great. No, you are great. Keep yourself elevated. Don't be out here encouraging others, supporting others, and those same people don't even support you. So you have to be mindful of how you are supporting you. Give yourself credit because you deserve it. Give yourself the, the leisure to be able to make a few mistakes along the way. Because we are human. Don't beat yourself up for every mistake. As parents, a lot of times we want to get it right. We want to get it right the first time. We don't want to have a, a regret in this world when it comes to our kids. We want to get it right all the time. But we don't. We fail too. So give yourself credit. You know there's going to be haters. Let those haters motivate you to continue on. To continue pushing towards your goals. When you're not selling. If it's not drugs, sex, or... Um, if it's not nothing that's below the belt, I would say... It, it's it's going to take time. People are going to be drawn in by things that are more sexual, you know, things that are more, um, you know, flashy. If you're not a flashy person, then it's going to take time. You know, don't be drawn in to, you know, that's why I feel about artists. If you're an artist and you have positive music, you have music that actually can help somebody heal a broken heart. Your music may not get the same attention as Glorilla music, some party music, some club music, some trap music. But that doesn't mean that you don't have a purpose here. Your music still has a purpose here. We still have people that's going through things every day. Your music can save them. So try to think about long-term goals, what you want. And along the way, uh, as you're working, you know, through, the, through the, the, the goals, the trials, the tribulations, they're going to come. But just stay focused. And continue to give yourself credit. Because giving yourself credit is how you acknowledge. So that's why I have this YouTube channel. You have a YouTube channel. Some videos. You only got. What are you wasting your time for? This is my way of journaling. This is my way. This is my outlet. This is my way of Nobody ever has to watch my channel. Because guess what? I'm going to watch my channel. I'm going to watch my progress. I'm going to see. I'm going to watch myself. And, and be able to listen to myself. Remind myself to stay elevated. Stay motivated. Stay dedicated to my purpose. Stay in line with my goals. Don't allow somebody to pull me in a direction that I don't, I'm not interested in going. You're not fish out here. We're not guppies. So don't allow people to reel you in. Motivate yourself. Let the hate motivate you because you're going to have haters. Since I've been posting more and doing more on my channel, I have had more hate than a little bit. I'm talking about people that want me to support them and... I, maybe I haven't supported them in whatever it is that they're doing. Um, so they choose to call me names. It's all about immaturity. 
something. I'm not going to belittle myself and because you being immature and calling me names, now I got to pull out some names and think of some names to call you. No, because my issue or my whatever situation with you or, or the words that I have for you is not to beat you down. It's It's actually to make you think. You know, why would you even have to call me names if we discussing a another topic how do the name calling come into play that's when you really see how mature a person is or how immature a person is when they instantly go to calling you names and you're just telling them like how you feel how you feel about a situation i don't like when you do this i don't like when you do that and now they're calling you names. Oh, your channel ain't shit. Oh, you skinny as hell. Oh, you do, do, do. I mean, what does that have to do with my channel? You know, if I tell you how I feel, I'm not interested in you. What does that have to do with my channel? It has nothing. <laughs> nothing to do. One thing has nothing to do with the other. So, y'all sip y'all tea. But try to sip your tea and stay positive. I know we try to sip, we sip tea and then we gossip and we talk about everybody else's business. Can we focus on our goals and what we want to do in life? That's why I had to take that video down because my goal has never been to belittle or tear down a black man. My goal has always been, my mission has always been to elevate my people, to elevate us to thinking about and not just financial achievements. Yes, we want the finances to be straight. We want our kids to not have to want for anything. Yes, we do want that. But mindful, just mindful thinking, like awareness. If you know that drug addiction runs in your family, you stay far away from it. If you know that gambling is a problem in your family, you stay far away from it. Just mindful behavior. That's all. That's what this channel was always about. Mindful behavior. Breaking cycles, creating the change that we desire for us. Not the desires that we want to fulfill for other religions and other people's dreams and aspirations. People will manipulate you with their religion. So decide what is for you. You know. Because your faith and your belief is ultimately how you get through the the bad times, the, the rough times, you know. That's ultimately how you deal with the, the, the pressure situations. Somebody pressuring you, pray on it. Meditate on it. Make a decision that's long term without regret. And I'm speaking, when I say these things, I'm speaking to myself. I'm speaking to all the youth. I'm speaking to anybody who come across these videos. Because I feel like if you came across my video, then it, it was a need for you to come across my video. Because like I said, I don't buy views. I'm not buying subscribers. I, I'm just not. I'm not. Because I've built my channel on my own. And now if I have, if I meet somebody that wants to help me, promote my channel, I help them promote their channel, then we can work together. But thus far, I have not found anybody that's really willing to work with me. Um, I do have some YouTubers that I will promote their stuff, but it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't have to be like, oh, you do me, then I'll do you. No, it doesn't have to be like that. You, you sure share mine, I'll share yours. Yeah, we can work like that, but if I really like your channel, I'm going to just share it. I'm going to talk about it. Yoki Starups, you know, I have a, I have a couple YouTubers that I really, I, you know, I'm, I'm plugged into and I've been watching them for years. You know, I just like what they do. I like the consistency of their channel, even if they don't post every week, because I don't feel like that determines your consistency, your consistency. You have a life. You have a life like YouTube is if you're not a monetized channel, I don't see the point in you coming here every day, talking to people every day for hours. You know, if you getting paid, then I can understand, you know, why you do what you do. But if, if you're not, if you're not a monetized channel, then, you know, 
don't be a slave to any social media. Just check in when you can, like I do. You know, I make time for everything in my life. You know, I try to make time for everything in my life that I want to be involved in. So I try to make time for social media. But I'm not a slave to any network, any social media. And I don't want you to be a slave to any social media. These platforms are at your leisure. It's the same way as a cell phone should be used. Your cell phone is at your leisure. Just because you have it on you when you're out and about does not mean that a person has all access to you. A cell phone is so that you have all access to whomever you want to call while you're out. Just because you call my phone does not mean I have to answer. People have the understanding of a cell phone like totally backwards. It's not, it, it, it's just like a pager. I page you, I, I, I call you when I get a chance to. You page me, I'll call you back when I get a chance to. Y'all remember them pages? They need to bring pages back, actually. I love to text because it's at my own leisure. I don't ever want to feel like I'm obligated. Like my kids, of course, there's no time that my kids going to call me and I'm not going to answer. But other people who have access to you, if you pick up your phone for somebody, and you're, you know what I'm saying, you're sitting there and you're talking to them, you're giving them your time, and they don't even appreciate it because they chastising you and trying to chew your head off, you don't even have to yell. This is what I want to tell my queens, my beautiful ladies out here. You don't have to yell at a, at a man ever. Don't ever raise your voice at a man. It just makes you look foolish. Don't raise your voice at him. You know, I get upset too and I have to reel myself in, like control my, my emotions. You don't have to raise your voice at that man because you can tell him exactly what you want to tell him and say it in his very same tone. Nice, calm, humble. You don't have to raise your voice. Raising your voice at a man is just going to escalate that man. It's going to escalate the situation. You don't ever want to escalate the situation because you know that you cannot physically fight this man. You can't physically go back and forth with him. It's no, it's no man. I mean, there are some weak dudes out here. There's some noodle back dudes. There's some, some little dudes that didn't finish growing. There's some dudes that's the same size as my eighth grader and they grown ass men. And I really feel like some of y'all parents did some drugs or something and didn't, even, didn't allow y'all to finish developing. Or some of y'all started smoking weed, smoking and doing a little bit too much too early. So I just, I got off subject. I know, I know I got off subject. But yeah, don't, don't try to battle these dudes, ladies. Do not try to battle these dudes. It's only going to end up your demise, you know what I mean? Uh, physically, we are not as strong as men. There are some weaker men, but still, just because he's smaller than you or he's weaker than you, that that doesn't mean you have a, a battle. Like, there's a challenge there. Don't do that. Like, don't do that. Don't do that to the kings. Don't do that to the brothers. Don't do that to the men. Don't do that to the dudes. Don't do that to the deadbeats, <laughs> to the baby daddies. Don't do that to them. Whatever they flaws is, let they flaws be their flaws. You know what I mean? You have your flaws, they have their flaws. But trying to, you know, physically fight a male, that's that's it's just not gonna it's not gonna play out the way that you want it to play. So don't even yell at them. You know, if a guy's on your phone and he's going in on you, just sit the phone down. Minutes are free, y'all. Minutes minutes are free. You know what I mean? You got unlimited service. Now, if you got a service where you paying for minutes, I don't know who does that, but if you got a service that you paying for minutes, then yeah, of course, don't let your minutes run up. But I mean, hang up at that point, you know. Um, just say, I, you're not going to yell at me. I'm not going to listen to you yell at me. You're not going to raise your tone. You're going to talk to me nice. Or you're not going to talk to me twice. 
period. <laughs> so you don't have to raise your voice because they're raising their voice. All you have to do is just put the phone down, let them keep on talking, go off, do what you got to do. When you come back, you're going to see that phone is either going to be hung up or it's gonna, or he's still gonna be sitting there talking, and he's still gonna probably gonna still be sitting there talking because he think you sitting there listening, so he gonna still still keep on sitting there talking. So let him just talk, let him run out, let him run. You can let the minutes just run up and run up. You know what I mean? Minutes are free. If you have unlimited service, minutes is free. He ain't he ain't even it's not affecting your phone. So just let him run his mouth. You know, and at the end of the day, I really hate focusing on the end of the day. I like to focus on beginning of days. So at the end of the day and the beginning of the next day, he's going to still feel whatever he's feeling. And you're going to feel the same beautiful feeling that you feel. You're not going to have all of his negativity poured into you because you sat there and let him chew you out or chastise you for 20, 30 minutes on the phone like he was your dad. And he just broke you down, talked about you in every way, talked about your hair, your nails, your dish, your dad, your everything. He just, he just went all in on you. And you were supposed to sit there and listen to him. Nobody's going to sit there and break me down. Ever. Ever. If you can't talk to me nice, you will never talk to me. Ever. Period. I'm going to have to clip this video and make this another video. Because <laughs> I need people to understand. Like, you can't talk to people the way you want to talk to people and get the right response. You know, the response that you're expecting. I will let you run up, run the minutes right on up and your lips will just keep on running. I'm not, I don't have to yell at you. I'm not going to raise my blood pressure because you choose to go off on me for whatever reason. No, not going to happen. So, uh, there are a lot of fathers who aren't in full control of their children. And so, that's what leads th them to treat every woman in their circle, in their area, every woman that gets on their phone, every woman that's on their social media, every woman that they work with, co-workers, they will sit there and try to chastise her, belittle her, tell her everything that's negative about her, everything that they want to tell but they don't have access to their children. Those are the people that they should be talking to in that way, in that manner. They don't have access to their children. So this is what makes them think, I have to be a father to everybody in this world. No, baby, you don't. You just have to be a father to your seeds, the ones that came out of your nuts. That's it. You don't have to be a father to every woman in this world. Every woman in this world does not need you to be a father figure to her. Okay? So, ladies, give yourself credit because these men will try to beat you down. They will try to break you down. If you have negative friends around you, your female friends will try to break you down. They will try to bring you down. What is that? I just said it the other day on a video. Don't try to help me. You can't help yourself. Unbig your back before you try to say that you have my back. Focus on you. Why do people be so focused? If they're not willing to support your channel or whatever it is that you're doing, your endeavors, but they focus so much on it. If you're not willing to focus on it in a supportive manner, don't focus on it in a negative manner. Go about your merry little way and leave me be. So I just want to remind all my queens out there, you have a purpose here. Give, your, give yourself credit. Give yourself credit for the time that you have been there for your kids. If something has happened, like for, for my, my situation, you know, if something has transpired and you're no longer with your child for whatever reason, don't beat yourself up about it. You know, it is what it is. 
Some things are out of your control. You can't control everything. And that's where my problem lies. I try to control everything. And I can't. So I have to humble myself. I have to swallow my pride. And, you know, I have to show my vulnerability. Show how vulnerable I am. And how open I am and willing I am to still be that active mother although she's living with her father now. He only got a good four years, four more years to raise her. Like he's doing me a favor, but I want to allow her to live. It, I mean, really ultimately when you co-parenting and a child gets to a certain age, it's really up to the child because a child, a, a, a child should be able to make a decision for themselves. Like, a decision to harm themselves, no. But a decision that's going to move them to the other parent's home, that's not like a foul decision. I would have loved for my daughter to continue to stay with me, you know, until she got to college. But it's her choice. It's her choice. It's her choice. It's her father's choice. It's out of my hands. You know, all I can do is wish her the best and pray for her, you know every day um can't talk to her every day because you know of the phone situation but um you know i can't dwell on that either you know so i'm just gonna sip my tea and try to stay positive okay so i hope y'all enjoyed this read today give yourself credit september 14th today 2024 so i'll put these videos up here like i said as a self journal um i could call it a journal vlog or something like that um yeah i, I probably need to rebrand my channel uh well i kind of not rebrand it but kind of like retitle it because i do videos about everything so, I, yeah, I know I always say about breaking cycles and um, creating change, like being the change, spreading love, peace, positivity. That's just what the zombie slayer means. That's why I came up with the zombie slayer title. 